Indianapolis city leaders want you to get rid of your trash the right way in the new year. Stop illegal dumping. It's a problem the DPW says gets worse after the holidays. News 8's Hernan Gutierrez spoke with a DPW official about this, and you learned uh, you could cost you if you get caught doing this. Good morning, guys. That's right. Someone who is caught illegally dumping garbage could be fined up to $2,500. The city defines illegal dumping simply as placing waste on public or private property without permission. To combat that, NDDPW offers resources like recycling drop-off sites throughout the city. That's the video you're seeing right now. That's how one might look like. And heavy trash pickup alongside your normal trash day once a month. According to DPW spokesperson Corey Allenkamp, the city saw nearly 7,000 cases of illegal dumping last year. He says it's affecting all neighborhoods across the city. It's a problem because we've got to get crews to then mitigate that. Neighborhoods have to try to maintain it as well. And it's uh, not only expensive to mitigate, it's an eyesore, and it's just really not being a good neighbor. Camp urges people to take photos or videos if they see someone illegally dumping and report them to the city. Another resource DPW is encouraging people to use is their Household Hazardous Waste Monthly Disposal Events, or ToxDrop. It's for items that might be ignitable, corrosive, reactive, or toxic. And for electronics, on the first Saturday of the month, it's at Traders Point Collective Facility, then at Perry Township Government Center on the second Saturday, and then on the third Saturday of every month, you can find it at the IMPD Training Facility. They run from 9 in the morning to 2 in the afternoon. Meanwhile, if you're still looking to get rid of an old Christmas tree, uh, NDDPW has seven sites across the city where Marion County residents can drop them off throughout the end of the month. I'm Hernan Gutierrez for Wish TV, wishtv.com, and like us on Facebook.